Increasing salinity in soil and water is a major problem in the coastal region of Bangladesh. Cox's Bazaar, known for the longest beach in the world and tourism, is also facing the increasing problem of salinity. With frequent natural disasters, vulnerability to climate change, more mouths to feed and less land available for cultivation, the region needs to import most of the vegetables to meet the local demand. To resolve this problem and create alternative livelihood opportunities, Cordate, with funding from the World Food Programme, is implementing the Saline Agriculture and Helophytes Production Project with an aim to improve the lives and livelihoods of 500 farmers in Teknap area and enhance self-reliance by ensuring food diversity through cultivation of new crop varieties in cultivable and fellow land. The pilot project has been working to introduce saline tolerant and high value crops such as carrot, capsicum, broccoli, cherry tomato, squash, kohlrabi, lettuce to the local farmers. Old coffee, do you old coffee? You want to know the key? The on a fatara dana, dear dana, in a rui, kangaroo, but the idea of a divani. Moritorina, Zago, Lobono, Yara, Fulabuego, Dilan, or Ilam. Mania go category, Duntana, Dunason, you love on go to the. Besides, the project has partnered up with Seawater Solutions to introduce the first cultivation of Salicornia halophyte in the area. It's been a highly interesting project, that's for sure. The idea that you can produce, um, get higher revenue out of your land by producing a more high value and versatile crop and something that will grow in an area that's so heavily salinized where very little else will grow. The farmers are very keen to look for any other opportunity to do something with their land. So um, after the success that we've had on our, our first initial plot, the farmer brought me to this area here and they're asking us if we can expand. I was very excited by this because generally when a farmer is bringing an opportunity to you, um, it is a real key marker of success. It means that the farmer is, is happy to engage and they are wanting to get even more out of the project. So it's very exciting for us. Along with high level of salinity in the soil and scarcity of fresh water, cultivation of crops still remains a challenge in the area. To mitigate these challenges, we have been working with the farmers by introducing new cultivating techniques and technologies such as organic fertilizer, vermicompost, solar irrigation, and drip irrigation. To promote and create livelihood opportunities via blue economy, the production of spirulina and seaweed is under the research and development process. Demo plots have been established to explore the possibilities of production of these high nutritious and economically benefiting crops. Expectations are very high. The first uh, key learning is like uh, what we are doing is needed and uh, what we are doing is already appreciated on the market. It means we need to be uh, innovative. So in this plot uh, we've been testing uh, seaweed uh, production. There is already a demand in Bangladesh for such kind of products and uh, we believe uh, we can have a very good margin on the market. Don't know about it. Fishing has been the main livelihood practice of the majority of the people in Cox's Bazaar. After the Rohingya influx in 2017, fishing has been banned in Naf River, leaving an adverse effect on the livelihood of local people. 
Saline Agriculture and Halophytes Production Project holds the potential to open a window of opportunity for the local community. With alternative livelihood possibilities, blue economy initiatives, market linkages, engagement and empowerment of women, the initiative is working to meet the local food demand as well as improve the financial status of the households.